Millions of people have suddenly disappeared. Maybe you even know some of them, a loved one like a husband, a wife, a friend, or your little child. And if so, you've been desperately searching for where they could have gone, and you just can't find them. And I know you're scared, and you probably fear that you too may just as suddenly disappear as they have. You have lots of questions, I'm sure, and I can answer many of those questions, and I will. But first, I want to assure you that the people are gone are alive, and they are safe, and you don't have to worry about them. Well, how can I know this? Because I am one of them. You see, why this great disappearance took you by surprise, many of us who left knew beforehand that it was coming, and because we knew, we left behind this message for you to help answer your questions and prepare you for what's coming up ahead. You want to know where we've gone, where everybody's disappeared to. Okay, we're in heaven. Now, don't give up on me here just because you doubt that heaven's real. I can prove that heaven's a real place. If you've ever felt unsatisfied with life and long for more, yet just could not fulfill that longing, then you know that people are meant to live better, to be in a better place. And God has made that better place for you and me to live. It's to live with God forever in his home called heaven. So there's a God. Yes, even if you're the biggest skeptic, deep down you must know there truly is a God. The disappearances, they're evidence. And God does have a son named Jesus who first came to earth as a man some 2,000 years ago. And God has left us a message so that we can know who he is. It's called the Bible. In it, God tells us that he made us, that he loves us, and that he's got everything under control. It is our message of hope, and it is your message of hope as well. Why did God take us to heaven now instead of waiting for us to die? Because God made a promise. You see, when Jesus first came, he was on a mission to create a way for all people to be able to live with God forever. He made that way by sacrificing his perfect life for our imperfect lives. He died on the cross for us and then beat death by coming back to life. Then God made a promise that one day He'd send His Son Jesus back to rescue everyone who accepted the sacrifice that Jesus made. Those now missing were taken to heaven by Jesus in an event called the Rapture. Through this change of location, our bodies were also changed. They became eternal, disease-free, perfect. Jesus even threw a great party for us once we got there. God fulfilled His promise, and now we're home. You're probably wondering why you're left behind. After all, you're a good person, right? I'm sure you've done a lot of good things, or at least not much harm. You may have even been devout in some religion or call yourself a Christian, as many who are left behind do. With all these good works, you're probably thinking you should have gone to heaven too, right? Well, no matter how much good we do, it's just not good enough to get us into heaven. The do's and don'ts of religion just don't cut it. God expects us to be as perfect as He is to get in, and no one's that perfect. I'm sorry that you didn't accept Jesus' salvation in time to be included in the rapture. If it's that none of us who were taken got you this message in time, I deeply apologize. But I can promise you, that while it's already too late for you to have been taken with us, it's not too late for you to accept Jesus as your Savior. You're asking why this is happening. The answer is all about God's love. God loves each of us, but God also loves justice. Justice and love go hand in hand. We're the same. If someone hurts us, don't we want justice? Shouldn't people pay for their crimes? 
Well, people have been rebelling against God since the beginning of history. Rebellion against God is a crime. It's called sin. And these next terrible years are going to be God's justice against the world for its continued rebellion against Him. So what comes up next? The Bible actually tells us, I wish it was good news. The next seven or so years are going to be very difficult, actually the worst in human history. The Bible even calls this time period you now live in the tribulation, but it does have a happy ending. So please don't lose hope while I explain what's coming next.